You, you, you. What's up, guys? So I'm going to wait for some people to come in. Um, Saturday night, it is, what is it, the 9th or something? Joshua, what's up? I actually got some shit to get ready, really. Um, so, I'm actually going to get that shit ready. I want to make sure all my ducks are in order. Yo, what's up? Forge and Wire, Brian, Vape Militia, Potent Blotter. What's up, what's up, what's up? Matthew. So, I'm super, super excited for this one. I honestly can't wait to get it over with. But, um... I'm actually excited to be giving away some shit back to you guys. Um, so I literally, right before the video, it took me 45 minutes to get all the names ready on the list. So the results of the names are, first of all, I got up to like 7.30 subs today, 730 subs. So, um, the entries for the YouTube, if you tried to enter twice or, you know, maybe you didn't try to enter twice, maybe somebody just made a mistake, you didn't get entered twice in YouTube. Now, if you did the, the double thing where YouTube and IG, you got entered twice, but some people, like, it looked like some people tried to, like, enter a couple times on Instagram and a couple times on YouTube, you got entered once, um... No big deal, but just so you know, your name's entered once in YouTube, and if you entered in Instagram, it's entered another time in Instagram. So anyway, YouTube, 109 people entered. And then in Instagram, 33 people entered for a total of 143 entries. All right. So 143 entries all together. So what I did was I went through everything. I wrote down everybody's name first on YouTube. And I put a number next to everybody's name. And then I went in IG. And I continued the numbers. So at IG, it starts at 110 to 143. And I started entering them names. So first come the YouTube. The, the way you entered, the time you entered, is that's how your name went on the list. So, like, for instance, Brad Collins. So he was the first person to enter on YouTube. So he's number one. He was also one of the first to enter on IG. I think he, he was the first to enter on IG. So he's got number one and 110. All right. So that's like how it goes. So if you were the third person to comment, you're number three. If you were the 43rd person to comment 500, you're number 43. So that's how it went. And then whoever reposted it in that order, you got them numbers. So the last person to repost on Instagram was Drip Kid NY was the last person to um, post anything on Instagram. And the last person was Brian Thomas on YouTube. So they got the last numbers of those two things. So when I do the drawing, I got a randomizer up on my computer. And I got in number one to 43. We're going to do prize number three first. Then we're going to do prize number two. Then we're going to do the grand prize. And then after that, I got a couple prizes for just people in the live feed. So hopefully the live feed doesn't get up to like 100 where I have to write 100 fucking names. I kind of hope it only stays at 30. I'm going to do it early. I'm not going to let late people come in and get in on it. I'd rather give it to the people who are always here first because those are usually the people that are the most loyal and stay here the longest. So... That's what's going on. Now I'm going to just go through the prizes and just let you guys know what prize one, two, and three are. With the other prizes, I kind of know what they are, but I'm kind of going to just wing it. But the, the main prizes, I know. So let me uh, get that shit ready.
and I want to <clears throat> make sure I write it all down. So, so the um, the prize pack won the um, the grand prize. All right, the prize pack one is obviously the dead rabbit with the build. All right, dead rabbit with build. And then it's two bottles of zombies e liquid. It's four spools of um, pure atomist. It's, I need to make sure I remember this. It's um, the alien makers, unless you want to. Unless you want to give them to somebody else um, that wins. But it's the Alien Makers is in that one. And it is... Oh, it's um, three sets of coils from me. Three and Divine Coils. Um, it's three the Omi Mar Coils. It's a pack of cotton bacon. And then I think that's it besides I think there's one other thing. I think that's it besides what I was going to throw in, which would be um, some kind of IG coil. I was going to throw in like a set of coils that I did on IG, like something really fucking awesome. So, um, and wow, we got 38 people. So yeah, this is going to get fun. Um, all right, so that's prize pack one. If I forgot something, I'll go back to the video and make sure that I named everything. If I forgot something, don't worry, I'll put it in. I'm not going to, you know, say one thing and then it not be in there. If I told you guys it was going to be in there. Yeah, definitely hit the like button on this. Make sure you're subbed because all whoever wins, I'm checking that you're subbed. I'm checking that you're um I can't check if you liked. I just hope you liked. I could check if you subbed. Um and I could check if you're following on Instagram's easy. And um that's that's really the only two you really need. Just sub and follow. I mean I think everybody does. I don't really think I have to check that. Who ain't following me, right? All right, so um, the second prize, prize pack two, prize pack number two is the Prize pack two is the Alpine RDTA clone. It's a one for one clone. Um, it's brass. I'm going to show you guys later. I'm actually going to probably put a build in it tonight. Um, and then it is two bottles of zombies. Now with the zombies, I could ask you what flavors and what nicotine. I'll be able to get whatever nicotine you guys like. Um, and then it is three spools of wire. I already have the wire picked out. It's just like common wire. Like I already bought the wire. It's already everything I have and is ready to go out besides the zombies juice. Um, and then it is, uh, three end of line coils, two, 
to the Omi Mar coils, and the Omi Mar coils are, um, they're pretty fucking, they're nice. They're not just like, oh, they're nice for Mark, you know. He just started building, you know, a couple months ago. No, they're nice even, like, they look like coils I would make, so they're fucking nice coils. There ain't nothing fucking wrong with them. They're fucking sick looking. Um, uh, cotton bacon. And I think that was it for that. Yeah, for prize pack two, that is it. Um... And now prize pack three. So for prize pack three, it's a little weird. And what's up, everybody? Sorry I'm not saying what's up to everybody, but... <clears throat> So prize pack three, both these tanks are brand new. Alright, so I have the TFV8 Big Baby and the TFV12. So if you win prize pack three, you're going to pick whatever one you want. Alright, you're going to pick whatever one you want. Whatever one you don't pick, it's going to go into one of the, um, one of the live giveaways I'm doing. Alright, so prize pack three is your choice of tank one bottle of zombies um cotton bacon Uh, three of my coils. That's three, two, three, three, um, and divine, and two, yeah, sure, two of the Omi Mark coils. And um, and then they all, yeah, and then that's it for that. So that's the choice of tank, a bottle of zombies, cotton bacon, three um, coils by End Divine, two by the Omi Mark, and then all three of them prizes are going to get, like, um, IG builds. So I'm just going to throw in... I think I'm able to throw in like a set of IG builds and a single coil from IG into all them packs. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. So everybody's going to get like an IG build. So a build that I would take a picture of like something like super cool looking. Probably more for looks than vaping. And then like a single coil that looks awesome. And you can vape whatever. If you vape it, you vape it. All right. So those are the prize packs, the three prize packs. Okay, and then in addition to that, we have the other tank. I got a bunch of coils. I got... Um, Three bottles of juice to give away, which which will most likely um, yeah three bottles of juice to give away. Most likely these are going to be all on the same prize, and there's a reason for that, which I'll explain later. Um, and there's a fucking a tripod for your phone that actually Brad um, put up which I think is awesome, especially for somebody that's 
watching me now to have because then you can have a tripod if you're most likely if you watch me live this is probably a good thing to have a tripod to set up while you're building and watch yeah fucking tripod's awesome if I didn't have one um I would have fucking not even mentioned this I would have just kept this one <laughs> so I have that and then I have the um the apocalypse clone heat treat it that I'm gonna give up all right so I'll be giving I need to make sure that that's everything I think that's everything um yeah I think that's everything is that everything yeah so when I give this shit away I'm also going to have coils with all these. Um, so, yeah, that's what's happening. So, that's what we got going on. So, it's probably going to be something like um, the one prize will be juice and coils, the other prize will be um, the TFB 12 and coils. And then the other prize will be the tripod. And the apocalypse, I think. That might be how it goes. I might actually just have two big prizes and one really small prize. Actually, yeah. This is what I'm going to do. You're going to get the tank and the juice, the apocalypse and the stand along with coils and then there's going to be a third one with just coils. I gotta remember that I need to send these out and I don't want to have all these big fucking big fucking envelopes because uh, that means it's just going to take me longer to get them out but I want to get these out like, I have the money on me now to just get them out this week. So I really just want to do that. I want to get everything out this week and not have it hanging over my head. So. All right. So let me get the phone on the charger real quick. Oh shit, is that you, Ryan? Vape Reviews by Ryan? What's up? I did not know. I did not know that. Alright. Let's just, um... Let's just get all the fucking the giveaway out of the way. I'd rather just get it done. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to hop over here. I'm going to Yeah, I hope everybody is enjoying the giveaway. So I'm going to get these, um, the three main prize packs done. And then after the prize packs, everybody that's in, in this chat, I'm going to tell these guys to fucking type something. When you type something, I'm then going to have to write down your names, number them, and then do this. So it's going to take some time. But, you know, just think how bad do you want any of these prizes. You know what I mean? 
And there's a, there is a couple things. Oh, actually, one of the prizes is also going to have the Omi Marks coils in it because he gave me uh, three sets, three sets, two sets. So he gave me eight sets of coils, and I only gave out six. I gave out all eight. Okay, yeah, I gave out all eight coils in these prize packs. So never mind, scratch that. All right. <clears throat> So my prize is um, the coils that you're going to get from me. I told you guys they were going to be Fuse Clapton's, Aliens, and Frame Staples. And that's all correct um, besides the frame, the Fuse Clapton's. The Fuse Clapton's are now bumped up to um, stag or, yeah, Stagger Fuse Clapton's. So instead of Fuse Clapton's, you're going to get Stagger Fuse Clapton's. Brad does win everything, does he? He might. All right. So, let me just figure out how I'm going to get this in screen the whole time. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Give me a minute, guys. I didn't really think out the uh, this part. I mean, I've done it before, but I kind of forget how I did it. But I actually found something else on the randomizer that's going to help me a lot more than the last one. Number one to one forty three in here. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hit the button three times. So I'm going to hit it. There's going to be a number shown. I'm going to hit it again. There's going to be another number shown. And then I'm going to hit it again. And that's going to be the winner. Is the number the third time? All right. So I'm going to. You can't win twice, neither. Once you win a prize pack, you won a prize pack. You can't win two prize packs. You can't win twice at all. Let everybody get a shot. All right. So, going to generate, and the third number is going to be prize pack three, which is going to be the choice of the tank, one bottle of zombies, cotton bacon, three coils by and divine, Two by the Omi Mark, and um, two other builds by and Divine uh, IG builds, as I was calling them. All right, so number one, number two, the next number is it. Number three, one thirty. Number one thirty. So we're gonna go. over to my book. I got them all written down. All right. We're going to go to 130 Casper coils. So this was an IG entry. All right. Casper coils. That was an IG entry. Casper coils. All winners are going to have um they're going to have a week to get to me. Um 
You got it. All right, Paul Casper, that's you. Awesome, awesome. All right. <clears throat> All right. Prize pack number two. I'm going to generate only twice. So I'm going to hit it once. The number is going to show. And then I'm going to hit it again. And the next number is going to be who wins. So I'm only going to generate it twice. And then for the next one, I'm going to generate it once. All right. So this is for prize pack two, which is the one for one clone Brass Alpine with a build. Two bottles of zombies, three spools of wire, pure atomist. Three and Divine Coils, two Daomi Mark Coils, and Cotton Bacon. Plus the two builds that I'm going to throw into there. Alright? So I'm going to generate once. And I'm going to generate again, and that's going to be the winner. 121. <coughs> One twenty one, which is another IG. King, you won, dude. V N M L D R T. King, you won. One twenty one. You're the second prize pack. He's always on. I'm glad to see that. All right. So I'm going to hit it again. That's another IG name. So <clears throat> All right. So We are going to, oops, did I generate? I didn't mean to. What happened? I think I hit a button with my book. Oh, it keeps hitting shit. That don't count. I'm not even going to look at the numbers. What do you guys want me to do? <laughs> I'm not looking at the names. I'm closing my fucking book. What do you guys want me to do? You want me to just generate it again? I'm going to hit the button three times again. 91. Repick, all right? How about this? We're going to hit it, repick. That's what we're doing. It's my choice anyway. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to generate it one more time. One one generate and whoever it is it, it is. Ready? Seventy three. Okay, good. I'm happy with that because it's not an IG name. So this is gonna be a YouTube name. Seventy three, which is seventy three. Oh, Maria. Avalos. He's actually talking to her this week. Pretty cool. All right. Awesome, awesome.
Yeah, and Maria was in here the other day, too. She actually, she's, I think she's fairly new to the channel, and she was actually watching the other. She might have been our first female live watcher. So... Congratulations, guys. I'm not going to tell anybody who 91 is, but I will tell you it's not a regular. All right. It's probably the first time I've seen the name. So just so you guys know, 91 isn't anybody that, uh, that is a regular watcher, but I'm not going to put their name out there. I'm not going to put any, I'm not going to tell who's 31. And actually, I'm not even going to look at who's 31. Let me tell you why. I'm not going to tell you who 31 is and I, because from numbers like 1 to 50, those were the regulars. Like numbers 1 through 50 were the regular people. So 30, I don't even want to go there. You could probably figure it out. If you really wanted to, all you got to do is go to the comments, go all the way down and count 31 up. So, but... <laughs> What's up, Shane? Yeah, Brad, number one usually doesn't win, but that's what was cool about the IG thing. I really like the IG idea because, so you were number one in both. So not only did you have number one, you had also number, um, you had number, um, 110 also. So you had number one and then one almost kind in the middle there. So it's not snake spelling time yet. It's not. I want to get all the giveaway stuff out of the fucking way. Yeah. I just want to get it done and then we'll do the snake spine. All right. In fact, Yeah, I'm actually glad with all the winners. I'm glad I'm happy with all the winners. Actually, every time I've done a giveaway, somebody has won that I, I was actually kind of happy that they won. Most of the time when somebody wins, there's a connection made that kind of lasts a long time, you know? Like I, uh, it's kind of a good example is like Drip Kid. Drip Kid NY won my uh, giveaway a little bit ago. And ever he was watching my live shows. We started talking. He won, and we still talk to this day. So, you know, King's always in here. He's always always been supportive. So, um, what I am gonna do right now is I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm gonna generate three more times, and I'm gonna get a number out of there. And that number is going to be just in case somebody doesn't doesn't re doesn't fucking contact me. That prize has to go to somebody. I'm not just going to keep it. And I don't want to do another giveaway. I'm not trying to hop back on here and do this again. All right, so I'm going to hit the button three times, and that number I'm just going to save. <laughs> Look at that, Brad. King won't contact. <laughs> Right, one, two, the ne the next number I'm gonna save ninety-three. So basically Basically, I'm going to save number 93, and 93 is going to be a just-in-case number.
I already know two of the people are going to get back to me. I'm, I'm definitely positive two of the people are getting back to me. No, so what I'm going to do all day, vape. <laughs> yeah, whoever guesses the highest number wins the next pack. <laughs> all right. All right, so basically, if you're in the chat right now, all right, Somebody would say one trillion. Yeah. All right. So if you're in the chat and you want in on the giveaway, just uh, press just five zero zero. Let's do the five hundred thing. Five zero zero. Type that. Everybody who types, it's getting in. There you go. There you go. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yeah, 50 people here, so that's, this is the highest I've had. And what's up, Sherlock Holmes? How you doing, man? Everybody just type it once, too, please. Don't do that to me. Oh, definitely, Sherlock Holmes, definitely. Hey, do you ever do... Um, yeah, the Noisy Cricket's awesome. Do you do the uh, the Zoom thing, Sherlock Holmes? Like, um, I believe you do. With, like, fresh. Or do it like fresh. Yeah, all right, all right, cool. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, actually, I've seen the bit, yeah, because you've done the witch in a court with um, the one dude on your channel. All right, how am I going to do this now? I'm about to just... Oh, no, I can't do that. All right. All right, guys. I guess um, talk amongst yourselves, I guess. I don't fucking know. Oh, and it is now, I don't care who comes in, all right, it doesn't matter who comes in, Jerry McMurray, you're the last 500, so you're the last person entered, we're done, all right, there's 50 people in here when I said it, there's still 50 people, so if anybody comes in, don't tell them um, what's going on, all right. So the last name up on the list is Jerry. Nobody after him is getting in. You know what? I'm not even going to write down. I know what I'm going to do. I don't have to do something stupid like write down all these fucking names. Here's what I'm going to do. I can just count how many people. Three, four.
All right, there's 45 names up in here. So basically, I'm going to generate. Oh, why did I do that? All right. All right, so let me tell you guys what you're going to win on this one. So this one is going to be whatever tank third place doesn't pick. All right, whatever tank third place doesn't pick. And then the three bottles of juice that Mark gave up. Now the reason why I'm doing the three bottles of juice is this. One of them's three milligram and the other two are zero. So hopefully you guys have a shop near you. Like if you're in Philly, there's shops that'll put nicotine in there. Um so the one's three milligram, it's all lost art juice, and the other two are zero. Alright. So you guys win that the tank. You're going to win that, the tank, a pair of um, three core, <clears throat> three core, um, stainless steel, stagger fuse, Clapton's. So the ones I was making yesterday. Um, and then, uh, the same three coils that I'm giving to everybody else. Um, the um, the Fuse Clapton's, Aliens, and Frame Staples. All right. So three core stagger, er, three core stainless steel stagger Fuse Clapton's. The tank three juice. And then the three coils. All right. So there's 45 names that hit 500. I'm going to generate. And the third number that gets there is who's going to win. So one, two, and now this next number 30. So number 30 wins that. I'm not even going to go check yet. So the next one is going to be a pair of the, the three core stainless steel, the same thing, the three coils, um, the tripod, and the, um, the uh, apocalypse, the clone apocalypse. And I got like the bag and all for this with all the screws and all. All right. I'm going to hit it three times in the third name. One. The fuck's taking so long? <laughs> Two. And now the next number. That number one took forever to fucking generate. Jesus Christ. So number 43, you won that. And now the last, the last one is going to be just coils. All right, you're going to get... Um, Actually, um, three core stagger fuse Clapton's, three coils, and I'm going to throw in an, um, an IG build in there. So something pretty cool in there. So you're just going to get basically an envelope with coils. All right. I think that's yeah 
Yep. All right. I'm going to generate three times. One. Two. I'm going to let you know who won. I must have a connection issue right now. <laughs> There's got to be something up with my connection. You gotta be fucking kidding me with this shit. That's exactly what it is, too. Okay. So one more generate. It was my connection. I could see it in the bottom corner of my screen. One more generate. Whatever whatever generates next. 36. There you go. I think we went around the numbers pretty good tonight. It wasn't all in the same area. All right. Let me go grab your names out. All right. Just stop commenting for a second, guys. It'll make things a lot easier for me. All right. I just want to double check, all right? All right, Redneck Vapor, you're number 30. Awesome, congrats. Oh, what the fuck? Some of you guys pressed it fucking twice. Oh, my God. You gotta be kidding me with this shit, guys. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna kill his. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ.
killing me. Killing me. Straight killing me. And the two guys that fucking won hit their names like fucking, fucking three times. God damn it. What a pain in the ass. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> yeah, I... Oh, man. <laughs> Redneck cheated. Redneck cheated. Dwayne cheated. <laughs> Fuckers. Uh, it was probably before I said only once. That's why I, I can't really. I don't even know what the fuck. I, I could just figure it out, really. It's just a pain in the fucking ass. It's kind of my own fault for doing it this way. I'm a fucking dickhead. All right, you know what? No. This is why we can't have nice things. No, there's a way. There's a way I could do it. It just takes a little more time. It's whatever. No, what's funny is I I went down. I went down and the fucking so the next name is Basically, Redneck Vapor almost won twice because his name's on there twice. So I seen that, and then I was like, you know what? No, it would be Dwayne. And then I look up, and it goes, Redneck Dwayne, Redneck Dwayne. I'm just gonna do I'm gonna do the same fucking numbers and you only get one entry no matter how many times you put it in. That's how it's gonna go. So your first entry is the one that counts. Which I think I think Redneck's still good because I think it was his first entry. Yeah, so Redneck's entry was that was number 30 his first one so redneck you're still good the question is is one two three four five six it would have been Dwayne but he already entered He already entered one time, and then after him, it would have been Redneck, but he already entered, and then it would have been Dwayne again, but he entered twice, so I got to skip three spaces ahead. All right, Rudolph Guzman, you're number 36, so you won the last prize. Now I just got to figure out who's number 40. So I skip Redneck cuz he was already out. So I need four more space. It's 43. So 1 2 3 
four, you know what? It's got, it just got to be Jerry. It's got to be Jerry because now there's not even 40, there's not even 43 entries. <clears throat> Jerry, you won second, you won the fifth prize. <clears throat> All right, so that's how it goes. It goes redneck vapor. He won the um the tank the juice, which I, I'm I am like redneck vapor. Fucking he supports fucking. In all aspects, he just said that he has Nick at his house, so I feel good about giving him the juice. Plus, he's he's coy, dude. Everybody knows that. And then Rudolph, you won the you won the latest prize. I'm sorry. So Jerry, you won the Apocalypse, the three core, um, the tripod. Yeah, the tripod and the coil. So. I'm actually happy with all of them because I, I see them names. I see all three of them names. So, <laughs> Dario, you were so close too. You really were. You really were. Yeah. Sorry about that confusion, guys. I should have had it figured out a little better. It was kind of my laziness that uh, that didn't get it. I'm going to um, just give me one more second. I want to do one more thing. I'm going to, I just want to make sure that I was fair in that last one. So the prizes all remain the same, all right? The prizes remain the same. Whoever got what, got what. But I am going to, um, I just want to go back and make sure somebody just didn't get totally dicked because there is other things I could do if they did. But nobody text me and say that I got dicked because that's not cool. My fucking phone is so hot right now. Hey, everybody that won is in the States, right? Or how about this? Just answer me if you weren't in the States and you won. I'm pretty sure everybody was.
All right. Spine time. I got dicked. What the fuck? So, yeah, special thanks to uh, Brad, Coil Fiend, the Omi Mark. They all put up they all put up shit for this giveaway. Um, there was other guys that offered and that's awesome. It was just like it wasn't in the schedule to like meet up with you guys or get it in the mail or anything. But I did anybody that offered I did see. There was like people like Crazy Face McGee offered to put coils up. Um, I'll have other giveaways, so I'll use them next time. Um, and then of course, I mean pure atomist. Um, hell vape, uh, zombies e liquid, you know, all good shit, all good shit. I mean, the only thing that's like absolutely free is really the zombies. So the zombies like really looks out all the time. So these guys could support them by fucking buying zombies juice. That's fucking awesome. The two best juices, in my opinion, are the Undead Cream and the Zomberries. Zomberries is a little better. It's a really good strawberry cream. It's different from other strawberry creams. It's not like just your basic strawberry cream. Yeah, yeah, Brad, you do. Is fresh here? Ah, oh, fresh is here. Interesting. All right. Let's get on with the build. So we're going to do the snake spine. And the snake spine is the OC of this coil is, um, is Buddy G Smoker. Buddy G Smoker is, uh, an awesome builder. He likes flattening and polishing things. He's like one of the best polishers. And the metal snake spine usually is polished. I'm not polishing. One of these days I'm going to get the same paper and I'm going to show you guys that. And very soon I'm probably going to make just a, a, a tutorial on the snake spine. But we're just going to do it live and everything you need to know I'll be able to show you. I haven't done one in a while, but I don't think that's going to affect whether I get it done or not. Once you um, once you know how to do it, it's not that hard. Um, you just got to have the right tools, really. So, what we're going to need is... Actually, i got to make sure I get it out. Where is my 22 gauge? All right. So I got 22 gauge wire. All right, so we're gonna need 22 gauge. Brad just hit 500 and fucked everything. Fucked everything up. I'm gonna need some 26 gauge. So I'm going to use 26 gauge um, stainless steel. All right. And I'm going to need some 36 gauge stainless steel also. Um, you could use, I think you could use any wire for this uh, stainless steel, nichrome, canthal, it doesn't matter. But these wire sizes, every single one of them is extremely important. Like, there's some substitutions, but not really. If you're doing 26, you need 22. If you're doing, um, you, you almost need 36 for the snake spine. I mean, it just comes out the best with 36. It bends the easiest. It looks the best. Um, it's just the best with 36. And, um... If you're doing 26 gauge cores, you like need 22. If you're going to substitute, you're going to have to substitute 28 with 28 and 24 or 24 cores and 20 gauge. All right. 
Yeah, I had to get lightning vapes. I had to get lightning vapes. Um, wire's just been low with pure Atomus, so. Lightning vapes, um, I guess it ships. It always has been quick. It always gets to me quick, lightning vapes. So that's why I order from them, and it's really cheap, so I can't complain. I just definitely suggest cleaning the wire before you vape it if you're using lightning vapes because you can tell a difference in cleanliness between that and pure atomist and kidney puncher and shit. Especially when you look at the ribbon. All right. So I need my drill. I need my air on. Too sweet. So first, you need to get your 22 gauge. Uh, just um, a couple more things with the giveaway. Get at me. Um, whoever won, you got to get at me. You got to DM me um, or message me. You, you got to do something. Uh, and definitely do something within the week. I'm going to do two weeks at the most. And that's being generous. I feel if you don't get to me in the first week, that you either don't care or you're not really following for the right reasons. If you're not, If you're not looking at the video within a week I'll give you two weeks if you ain't looking in two weeks oh what's up Tommy Vapors um, if you're not looking in two weeks then I'm just gonna move on to the next person that I got the number from but I think everybody's gonna respond so I don't think I have to worry about it So I'm getting my 22 on my swivel, my 22 on my drill. All right. And now I'm going to get my 36 gauge stainless steel. Hand wrap it around my 22 gauge just to get it anchored in. And I'm just going to make a clapton, just a simple clapton. Make it as tight as possible, as tight and clean as possible. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go about halfway down this wire. I don't know why I made it so fucking big, but I did.
It don't matter where. It don't matter, King. You could DM me on IG, Facebook. I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter. Alright, so I'm going to shoot for, is it a single coil? I might get a duel out of this. Alright, so I clapped and, let me tell you how much of this 22 I clapped and. I clapped in 8 inches, which is perfect. Alright, so I clapped in 8 inches. I'm going to hold the 36 gauge. Put my drill in reverse. Thank you, guys. I wouldn't be able to do any of it. I loosen up the 36 on the 22, make sure it's completely loose. Then I'm going to cut <clears throat> the 22, and I'm going to take the 36 off. All right. And I'm going to take the 36 D core. I'm going to fold it in half. Not quite fold it, just get a loop. And I'm going to cut. Alright. <laughs> He'll be back in two minutes. Hey, how did you do that, Mark? Oh, uh, you got to deal with the storm? That fucking sucks. Yeah, if you guys got to deal with the storm, man, good luck with you. It's, it's fucked up. Alright. So I got two pieces of decor here. They're each about four inches, almost exactly. So now I'm going to get my 26 gauge. All right. Twenty-six gauge stainless steel. It doesn't matter what type wire, really. I'm going to stretch it to get it straight, and it's also making it a little thinner. And I'm going to cut this at about 10 inches. I'm going to get another piece and do the same thing. Stretch it, cut it at 10 inches. All right. Uh, thank yous, guys. But you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. I mean, like, honestly, I had a video hit 2K today, and I didn't think I'd get a video that hit 2K this soon because the video just hit 1K like two weeks ago. So the fact that it hit 2K in another two weeks, and now I have a couple videos over 1K. So everything's been going pretty good with YouTube. I'm pretty pretty pleased that I came over, made the switch. A couple people advised me that I probably should, and I'm glad I wasn't stubborn about it like I usually am with shit.
and I listened and everything's going good and I just did a very important a very important part of this build and you didn't even say it all right so what I did was I put the Clapton's on the cores so I slipped the cores inside the Clapton's I basically it's so easy to do that I did them both at the same time so let me just take one out I got a Clapton here a 26 gauge core remember this was decored off of the 22 so there's a it's very roomy in there I just slip it in there all right so now I got both so basically it's just a very roomy clap and very baggy it's got a lot of room inside you could actually fit like three pieces of 26 in this if you want it I've actually done it before there's enough room in this 22 to fit three pieces you see just a very roomy Clapton you know what no that's 20 gauge you could fit three you could fit more than two in here though. You could fit like two and there's still room. I think that's 20 gauge I'm thinking of. Alright. So you see my Clapton's are still tight at the moment. Meaning they're close together, the wraps. Yeah, I never heard of it. So now I'm going to take both wires, and I had bends in my 26 gauge, and I'm just going to insert them in my drill. If it grabs the Clapton's, it grabs it. If not, it's that's not a big deal neither. All right. So both cores are in my drill. And now both cores are going to be on my swivel. All right, so now basically, if you guys ever seen my stagger fuse Clapton video, and I do the force fusing, that's basically what I'm going to do here. All right, but I am going to open up these Claptons a bit before I do. So first, I'm going to get some 36 gauge. So I'm going to use the same wire. When really, you could use any any wire close to 36 at this point. But I'm going to use 36 because I like how it looks when all the wires are the same size in this build. And I'm going to hand wrap it around the beginning just to get a good start. And that's going to anchor my Clapton's. Alright, so I just get a good start on it. So now... Like I said before, I had four inches of Clapton. All right. So it looks like I got three and a half now. 
So I want to make spaces in this Clapton. So basically, I want to stretch this out double the size that they are. So if it's around three and a half inches, I'm going to stretch it out to seven inches. All right, so I'm going to take these. I'm going to go to seven inches. And then I'm going to go a little more because I'm going to get a spring back. And it's going to spring back a good bit, but it's going to leave a little space in there for my wire to sneak in. All right. Let me try to get a close up of what's going on real quick. I could stop for a couple minutes so you could catch up. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to stretch them again so you can kind of see what's going on. It's just opening up the Claptons. You can kind of see how much bigger the Claptons are when I do this. And then when I let go, they bounce back, but there's still a little space left. You see it? They're not tight Claptons, because tight Claptons would look like that. Space Claptons look like that. And then after the bounce back, there's only little spaces in them. And that's just going to let me sneak my wire in there. So now... I'm going to clap them with my 36 and basically force fuse. You want to catch the right tension and the right angle. And you should be able to move right down this wire when you do. So first let me back it up so you can kind of see how my hand is when I do this. And then I'll close up so you guys can see what the wire looks like when everything's happening. So I got my spool, I got it down here, kind of leading it like an alien. And I'm just getting it into the grooves. Not too much pressure. In fact, hardly no pressure if you stretch them out right. You just give it a good lead. <clears throat> no, there's there's a 26 gauge core inside of the D core. So let me show you what it looks like when this happens. Mistake there, the wire was not it. Oh, you fucker. Usually, when you reverse on this, shit's a little fucked up, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Right. So, I see that. The wire's a little tight still, so I'm going to give it a little stretch again. It's important that that Clapton that you started off with is two times smaller than the cores that you have. That's very important. So I had four inches of Clapton, but I have ten inches that I cut. And you, you, didn't, you don't want to have four inches and seven inches of cores. You want to have more than two times. Because when you clap in these spaces, you're doubling that Clapton. Yep, it's basically a loosened stagger fuse Clapton. I'm basically making a stagger fuse Clapton with two baggy Claptons as the frames. Man, 
I should have just kept going. Okay, so the beginning part went well. Unfortunately, the rest didn't. But I think I got enough for a coil. I could always just start it over. It doesn't take too long when you're not really explaining it. It was going really good for a minute there, too. It's about the same lead as an alien. I'm actually going to do it again. This way you guys could see it. And uh, I actually need to need to do it again because I didn't get enough that I'm happy with but this is what you want when you're done Just I kind of lost my rhythm. All right. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly get this all set up again. So, if you didn't catch me the first time, I'm going to have to do it again. I'll explain, I'll explain it quickly. I shouldn't have stopped when I started and switched the view. I had the angle good. And once I fucked it up, I couldn't pick it back up. <laughs> All right, 22 gauge. All right, I got 22 gauge up in here, up in here. All right, bro, take it easy. Thanks for stopping by. I could actually make a coil out of that, too.
Yeah, Ramo's pretty cool with that. It's not too hard to get an approval from them if you tag them. I think lots of people think, you know, you just got to tag some builders. And just because they don't answer you the first time, probably means that your picture, picture just got lost in the sauce or something. They're probably busy, you know. I try to answer as many, but I mean, I, even sometimes I'm looking, I'm like, oh, wow, how did I miss this? How did I miss that? When I was looking at all the comments today on the giveaway video. So I'm going to Clapton 36 over this 22. Basic Clapton. Yeah, the naturally wired. There's a couple guys that uh, have been talking to me about that. Stagger fused Claptons are just fused. So I leave about an inch on, inch and a half on, put my drill in reverse, loosen up the Clapton on the 22. After it's loose enough to where I can move the entire thing, I cut the 22 and decor it. So I got a decor here. I'm going to take the decor. I'm going to get both ends, fold it in half, find the middle, cut it in the middle. Now I should have two pieces equal in size. I could take the 22 off of my swivel. I go down to my ruler, I measure the pieces I have, they're both 4 inches, so I get my 26 gauge stainless steel. I want to have at least, at least 8 inches after it's on the swivel and the drill, so I'm just going to stretch it. And I'm going to cut it at 11 because I want more. And I'm going to get two pieces at 11. And then I'm going to slide these cores inside of the D cores. Alright. So before I slide them into the D cores, I'm going to make sure I got a nice 90 on both of these. So when the D cores are on, they don't fall off or anything. And also, I could put these right into my drill when I'm ready. Alright. So, I got my two wires. And you know what? I also shouldn't have flipped them over. That was probably a bad idea the first time. And I probably did it the first time.
think there's one decor on. If you're having trouble getting another decor on, it's probably because the end's like messy or something. So I just cut it. Sometimes it might be the 26 that's messy. So you could cut that too if you need to. But I think it was the clap and that was messy. So now I got both D cores on both the cores. Now I'm going to get my drill. Get both my wires. Make a T out of my wires. Just like I do with my fuse clappings. Just so my chuck could grab onto them. Close her down. Bring both wires up to my swivel. Bend them over. Grab them. Twist the swivel. Now they're on there. So I have four inch Clapton's and ten and a half inch cores. So I'm going to take the four inch Clapton's at the end and stretch them. Nope. I got to clap in this end first so they stay there. So I'm going to get my 36 gauge, hand wrap it around the beginning, after I hand wrap it a bit, I'm going to drill wrap it, cut this excess off real quick that you didn't see, alright, so I got my 36 on there. Now I'm going to take these two and I'm going to stretch them about nine inches down the wire. And that's going to make spaces in these just like I showed a little bit ago. Then I can let go and that should be good. I'm not even going to play with them like I did before because I think that fucked me up. In my opinion, this is the hard part of the build. After I get this part done, I feel pretty comfortable with this build. Now you just got to get the right angle, the right pressure, and fuse them together going into the spaces. Now that I'm down the wire, the the uh, Clapton's kind of got closer. So I'm just going to give them a little stretch again.
Man, I got another good amount done. Quite honestly, I've done cleaner, but whatever. I got enough for two coils. So. <clears throat> so I'm just going to find the cleanest part I got here. And you do want to mess with these one coil at a time. You don't want to do one long run when you're flattening this out and shit. You do want to do it a single coil at a time. Because you do have to pay attention to what you're doing. And it's harder to pay attention to 8 inches of a wire. Rather than... Four inches of a wire. All right. So basically, this is what they look like. And I've said this before, they look kind of cool just like this. If you wrap them up just like this, you got a pretty cool looking wire. And it would vape fine. I mean, it would vape. I've vaped them before. It's, it's going to vape kind of like a fuse clapton. What? Yeah, one second. All right, now before one second, guys. <clears throat> before you do the uh, bending over, before any of that, you do have to flatten it first. All right, so we're going to do one at a time. I'm going to take the smaller one and start with that. All right. So what I do is I don't like to hammer this. I like to use my rolling method thing. So you could use one of the coil master things on a block, on a uh, jeweler's block, or something polished metal. But... It's good to get a jeweler's block. Uh, jeweler's blocks work really good for a lot of things when you're building coils. There's lots of different coils you could use it for. But I like to do it with a stainless steel mod. So I got this jeweler's block here. Stainless steel mod. I'm going to put some pressure down. And I'm going to flatten this wire and you could feel it flatten I mean just the look of the wire these guys seen that it's only 36 gauge loops like little skinny earrings that I'm bending over and flattening down so I just roll it out just once just do like a once over get it flat Get all the pieces flat. Straighten out your wire a bit. Just remember you don't want to damage that 36. And I'll show you what this looks like close up now that it's flattened. And I'll put it next to the other piece that isn't flattened. So here's flattened. So you could you can definitely see a difference. Once again, it's not the cleanest fuse I've ever done, but these guys will get the point. Alright, so even this looks cool. Just about every step of this build looks pretty cool. And here it is next to one that's not flattened yet. Flattened on the right, unflattened on the left.
Alright. Looks pretty cool so far. It actually looks like I stretched my Clapton's too much, and that was the issue. There's lots of gaps in these. I think I stretched them a little too much. I've actually also done it without stretching it and just force fusing it, but it's a little harder that way. Alright. So you've seen it took me like no time to flatten that out. Now I gotta get my other shit ready, which I didn't I didn't have ready. So I have a vice. Now a vice isn't extremely necessary, but it is very useful with this build. But I'll show you kind of what you want to get. So some people flatten it with just like a screwdriver or they bend the leads. Bend the leads. <clears throat> they bend the little fins with like a screwdriver you can even run your nail down it if you want it but the way I like it it works you know the best for me is I have my voice and I have <clears throat> where are those pliers Here they are. <clears throat> I have these pliers and they're square. All right, they're very squared. And what I do is I get my vise, I get my pliers, open up the vise so that the pliers go in. And then I vice down on the pliers. I close it up. All right. And the most important thing is that I have some kind of an L, both made out of metal, with a sharp edge here. And I'll show you what I do with this. So basically, the flatness here, and then the flatness here, is what I'm going to use to make the bends in this wire. So I take the wire that I flattened, I grab it with needle noses. You don't have to use needle noses, I just like to. And it's just good to have something stationary that you can run this along. I don't know if these guys could hear that. But I will get a close up so these guys can kind of see what the hell is going on. I'm running it along this edge here. This this edge. I'm running it along right there. I could also run it along this edge too. Just run it along an edge. It don't matter which one. Just run it down a goddamn edge. Basically, what's ever more comfortable for you to bring it down that edge. So you don't want to do this too many times. I'm doing it a couple times lightly because I've had the most success doing that. So now 
I'm gonna look it and see what I did so far. See how I done. I only did one side so far. So let's see what it looks like. Gizzard Stew, what's up? Fucker. Yep, you could see the bend starting to be made. So you see the left side, I'm starting to get a bend in it. And the right side, I don't have it yet because I didn't do it yet. Let me get some kind of shade so this is easier to see. There you go. What's up, Michael? All right. So that's, it's bent good, but it's not bent all the way. It's got to do another run or two. You really want to have like a really sharp, a really sharp, um, really sharp bend in it. You want something pretty dramatic. All right. You just don't want to do it too many times because the more times you do it, the more likely you're going to break that 36. So you just want to do it a couple times and look at it. Just look at it. Would you look at it? Okay, so now you could flip it over and do the other side. You could run it opposite ways. You could run it the same way. You could do whatever you want. I think I'm going to run these the same way because the last time I did opposite ways. So I'm basically just going to do the same thing to the other side. So I'm kind of putting pressure down and over. I want it to sit flat as I bend it. Actually, this side isn't going as well as the other side. So, yeah, it can be a pain in the ass. Once you get the feel for it, it, it looks more of a pain in the ass because of how small the wire is. I know I said do a coil at a time, but don't try to do four inch. Try to get like a six inch stretch. 
it gives you something to have a handle on. So I think the other side, I don't think I did it as good. But we're going to look at it and I'm going to show you the step after that. And then we're going to do the second one. And Okay, that's not so bad. There you go. No, actually, that's pretty good. It's only good in one section, but these guys will get the point. So the one's definitely more dramatic than the other, so I basically have to run the one side down again. You could see the right side's bent more. Just look at it. You could see it's not bent the same. Up here looks around the same. Just look at it. Must have seen it. This jewelers block's good too. I used to use this jewelers block to run it down, but the the um the vice is just so much better, especially if I would have clamped it down to my desk. I'm just gonna run the one side down one more time. Oh, that's the wrong way. I just want to get on to the second one so I could, uh, I think I can get a nicer one done with the second one. So if you're done that step, you got your both sides folded over. All right. You basically got to flatten it again. You can use the hammer this time around, but if you have a setup like me with the block, and a mod that you don't care about, that's stainless steel. Just roll it out again, and it's going to clean it up a lot, and it's going to flatten it again. It's going to make it look a lot better after you go through your steps of bending over. After you bend that wire over and just give it to it, you're going to be good. I just want to give it to that wire. Yep, I just want to bend it over and give it a go. The old in out in over. see what I can do with this longer piece now so I'm basically I'm gonna do the same damn thing so it's not flattened yet for the first time 
That's very important that you flatten it. So I'm just going to roll it out. Flatten it down. You can literally feel it flattening. It turns from round to flat. You could also hammer it out if you want. I just think this is a cleaner way of doing it. Easier way of doing it. All right. I'm going to get my Jizzy Jam. I got my Jizzy Jam here. Oh, nothing. We didn't do shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Pasta roller is awesome. I would like to get one. I mean, I really like using this, but I think a pasta roller, it, it might come out a little better. A pasta roller is kind of how this build was invented, I believe. People playing with the pasta. A pasta roller basically flattens it just like how I'm flattening it with um, the roller here. It basically does the same exact thing. And I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the other side. I'm just going to bend both sides before I even put it under the camera. <laughs> So you absolutely can flatten this and do the bending again if you want it. You don't want to do it too many times, but you can do it like once or twice. So I think I bent over both sides fairly well. I think I did a good job. So now I'm going to get out my uh, roller again. I'm going to roll it out and we're going to see how I did.
All right. Let's see what it looks like. Who's this texting me? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah, it flattens wire. No, I mean, dude, look at what I'm doing here. It's, um... If you see what I'm doing here, I'm literally just rolling this over it. I'm not putting a lot of pressure into it. I would say it's about, I don't know. I'm not good with measuring the pressure that my hands are putting down, but I'd say it's only about 40 pounds of pressure, if that. You know, I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure down. But pasta rollers do it. You could go over to Ramos' channel. He uses a pasta roller to flatten his builds. I flatten a lot of builds like this, though. And I would use a pasta roller quite a bit if I had one. Like all my stagger tins, I pasta, I roll. Oh, yeah. Look at this one. Would you just look at it? Oh, yep. Mm-hmm. It's probably in the Bed Bath and Beyond. It's probably in the Beyond section, right? Pretty cool, right? Yeah, these are pretty um pretty awesome looking builds. I mean, to have a complete snake spine, metal snake spine. Yo, guys, sorry. Sorry guys, I don't know, I guess, is there people? Yes, I did the giveaway in the beginning of the video, so, um... Oh, Retro, what's up? Yeah, my battery ran out. I had it plugged into the charger the whole time, but I must have unplugged it on accident. So it, everything should be good. What's good is even if my sh phone shuts down, the whole video isn't lost, and I can jump right back on as long as I didn't end the video. So I got to take a little break anyway. So that's a good thing. So, I'm actually going to wrap this video up now. I'll show you the wire I finished before I do. Um, I don't quite understand. The time says that we're at negative one, two, three, oh, four, but whatever. Whatever the fuck that means. Alright, so actually, how about I do this? Let me, um, let me see what it looks like when I, I wrapped one of them up. I don't know what the ohms are going to be. It's going to be like a stainless steel fuse clapped. And this would probably be about, 
a dual coil would probably be about a 0.13, five wraps. Yeah, 0.12, something like that. It's only 26 gauge, 36 gauge stagger fuse Clapton, really. It's definitely going to be above a 0.1. So I'm going to be making a tutorial for this. I actually haven't done this build in quite a bit. The last time I did it live, it um, it came out really good. I actually didn't have any mistakes in both the coils I did. But this time I must have did something a little different. Because there's definitely mistakes in it that I never had before doing the last one but I am going to try to bend this over now that I flattened it I'm going to try to bend over the one side again I could check to see if it's any better. I'm going to flatten it again real quick. You guys want a suka? I hate sukas. I could do a suit. I'm going to be doing a suka tutorial soon. Is that the tutorial you guys want next? Suka coil? I'll do the Suka coil next. <clears throat> well, and somebody just asked who the winners were again. Um, I'll go over the winners again. Before I go. So the winners of the giveaway once again are the prize pack three was Casper Coils. Prize pack two was King um, <clears throat> King Voldemort. <laughs> That's how I always see it. Um, prize pack one was Maria Avalos. I think that's the only person that hasn't contacted me yet. Um, and then we had a fourth prize. And if you weren't here, you couldn't have won this, so... Redneck Vapor was the fourth prize. The fifth prize was Jerry. And the sixth prize was uh, Rudolph. So. Yeah, congrats to everybody. Thanks. Um, so with the, um, what's going to go on with the channel? is um <clears throat> basically the same thing but 
I think Tuesday videos, the live ones, I think I'm going to make them every other video. And there's a couple reasons. Aliens with Ribbon for Alien, for the Alien, is base, is a, is a Suka build. That is a Suka build. That's an old school Suka is an Alien Ribbon. So, um... I could probably do them in both the videos or two two separate videos. Some people kind of complain about how long some of the videos are. Um, not sure if I care so much, but I'd like to have some short videos, some long videos. But um, Tuesday's videos, I'm probably going to do every other week. And the reasons why I'm going to do this is I need to start making the tutorials recorded. Um, it just gets the information out there better. I'm able to sit there and get a lot of close-ups, get it in high def. And, um, that's what I said. Some people want the longer, so I can't please everybody. Um, so, um, <laughs> so yeah, that's, um, the tutorials will be the shorter ones. And then the live videos, I mean, they'll be the long ones. Yeah, and the thing is with my tutorials is I don't want to get too much into that speed and videos up thing. Um, something that's always important to me is to be different than other things. If I'm just the same, most people aren't going to go and see the same. So if I put out a frame stable video that's the same as there's a lot of frame stable videos. So that was definitely one that was important to be at least a little bit different. <clears throat> And yeah, to me, building isn't fast. Some people build fast. I don't build fast. There's some builds that are faster than others. Some builds, you know, obviously in my alien tutorial, I showed you I could do them in five minutes. But then I actually built it and explained it and took a half an hour. So, <clears throat> um, not only do I want to get tutorials out more for the, the reasons why I'm skipping every other Tuesday, but also, if I keep up at the same pace with these live videos, shit's going to get boring too quick. It's going to, I'm going to run out of shit to do. There's only so many builds. If there was a hundred different builds, which there's not. If there was a hundred different builds in fucking, in six months, I'd be burned out. There'd be no more videos. I'd have to recycle and do the second one, you know, do a stagger tin for the third time. So, in order to slow it down a bit, I think Tuesday videos, I'm going to do every other one. And, uh, I mean, I guess I'm just going to try to start getting a little more product and do videos building on uh, RDAs. <laughs> yeah, hybrids, there's unlimited number of hybrids. I'm not giving out the backup winner. I'm not going to give you out the backup winner. I don't even know who the backup winner is. I didn't look. I don't want to give you out the backup winner. Because then drama starts. It's a good way to start drama. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, obviously I take time out of my schedule to do it. But, I don't think people should look at it like that. Like, I enjoy doing it. So, you know. So, if it was a job, but it's not a job. That's one of the reasons why I try not to market myself to sell coils. I don't want it to be a job. I don't want to hate what I'm doing. The moment it feels like a job is the moment I stop doing it. What's up, Justin? So, it's 
basically all I could say about that. The Saturday videos, though, I think I'm just going to keep doing them live. And, uh, I don't know. We'll just see where it goes. Maybe something will pop up and I'll change something and that'll give us more, more shit to, uh, more shit to cover. Like, um, there's always RDAs coming out. But then, if I want to go that route, then I'm going to have to start thinking of, um, how to generate money. So I, I have been thinking about maybe starting to generate money through, um, through coil sales. I don't really want to do a Patreon, I don't think. If I did do it, I would try to do it like, uh, so people get something out of it. So I think the selling the coils would be a probably a good idea. But um, I did order the uh, squirming coils, the um, the conspiracy. So hopefully that's here by Tuesday, and we could do that. Because I did put out the frame staple tutorial this week, so was it this week or last week? That might have been last week. Getting this giveaway out of the way was uh was good. I'm glad that this is out of the way now. I just gotta get it in the mail. Um And I'm going to do something small for a thousand, which is which should be in a couple weeks. Um, I'm averaging 90 subs a week, so it would be two weeks if it keeps going at that pace that I would be doing another giveaway. But it's not going to be as big. It's going to be one winner, just straight up one winner. Yeah, yeah. I probably give out more coils than I sell. <laughs> yeah. And I'm fine with that. I'm not. I got a job. The day, if a day ever comes or something happens with my job, which I was actually just talking with somebody that knows me personally and knows the job that I have, it would probably never happen. But if anything happened, I mean. I'm going to start selling coils. Kids got to eat. Yeah, and that's stuff I could do too. Cleaning mods. Um, there's a lot of videos besides coil building I want to put out there. I got the cleaning my mods. I got, like, um, the one week I was going to do, um, one sec. The one week I was going to do, uh, what is it called? I was going to do my top five RDAs when my, you know, I had them a couple of weeks where I had an RDA every Tuesday. So the one week when I didn't have an RDA, I was going to just show you guys what my favorite, my five favorite RDAs. So one week I would like to do that. I like to get together my five favorite RDAs. Um, I think my five favorite RDAs I have more than one of. Yeah. So um. So that would be a good one. Um, obviously, people are always asking me on um, how do I get good pictures. Um, I'm not the best person to ask about that, but I guess I guess I am. I guess if 
all you use is a phone, I may be a good person to use for that because for a phone, I think I do pretty well. Um, and then um, color my coils, that's another one. Um, you know, coil maintenance is a little video you could do. And then there's a bunch of little shit like that. And then maybe I can do just little quick tutorials. Just little five minute things. Yeah, yeah, all fun. Alright, simple big guy. And then there's always the things I could do, like um, having other builders on, having some of the teammates on. Um, obviously, Sherlock Holmes just said, you know, we could do something like that. So I guess I can stay busy for a while. I just don't want to run out of the build tutorials live. I don't want to just... The live videos are important to me, I think. I think the live videos are... Um, kind of just what makes the channel really what's up Jerry yeah having guests live I think that would be pretty cool and it doesn't have to be just builders obviously there's other people that could come on. It also doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be somebody that has like a lot of followers or anything. I could just have random fucking people, you know? <clears throat> yeah. There's other shit I could do too. Another thing I was thinking is um instead of staying in this room, I actually already talked to a couple shops about this. <clears throat> Going to my local shop and doing a build there live on YouTube. That would be pretty cool. You get a change of scenery, see what the shop looks like in uh in my neighborhood. There's a lot of shops around too, and they I don't think any of them would have a problem with me doing that, just crashing the shop for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I think the shop idea is cool, too. I actually, there's a video out there of me at a shop, um, at Sababa Vapes. If you go to, it's on the Sababa Vapes Facebook. There's actually a live video of me building on there. Nothing crazy, just, um, I think I did Aliens and Stagger Fuse Clapton's. And it's with the guy from Zombies is there. <clears throat> Wayne. Ryan Hopkins is there too. I think he was working more. But he was there too.
You have no swivel. It's probably somewhere in your prep all day, Vape. <laughs> no, the own boy Josh thing, I don't know. I guess he's just busy. I don't know. I really don't. Um, you could DM on YouTube. Jer, are you on Instagram? Yeah, I would like own boy Josh to come back and do the Coil Wars thing. And that's another thing. Um, that would be cool to have Bill Dolphs on here. That, that, there's actually, that actually reminds me of a couple other things I was thinking about for the channel. I'm actually glad I'm recording this right now because there was a couple other ideas I had. Um, <clears throat> obviously, I have the coil porn videos. What if I did coil porn videos of different guys on the team? What if we did build offs and I could do coil porn videos of the build offs? Kind of like, kind of like the coil wars idea. But you know, have a build off. Looking, um, show them on the channel. Yeah, maybe I'll think of a build off to do. All right, DM me, on, Jared. That's the best way to get to me. Get to me on DM, on Instagram. That's probably the best way to get to me. Yeah, there's lots of good shops in Philly. There's a lot of good shops. There's like um. There's three shops that it's it's really cl I like all three of them like a lot. And then there's lots of shops like here. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do, um, <clears throat> maybe I'll do, uh, a build off for like the, um, the 1000 mark. I think that would be pretty cool. How about, I think that would be a good idea. So, like, for when I get a thousand subs, I'll do a build off. And to enter the giveaway, you would have to post you would have to post a build it doesn't matter how good the build is just post the damn build it don't matter what it is you could post a 5 wrap 22 gauge single coil I don't care post a build but if um, the top 10 or something I'll put on on the video so you're entered in just by putting a build up, putting a build up on Instagram, maybe Facebook. I'd rather it just be Instagram. That enters you into the giveaway, and then there's a build off, maybe with a separate giveaway in the build off, and uh, the top ten builds that me and like two other judges pick, I guess, would um, you know, be put on the channel. Like a kind of like Coil Wars thing. I could show off the build, explain it. Tell you how cool I think it is. There's lots of um there's lots of good builders that are in this chat that are you know that watch the video. There's there's a lot of good talented builders that watch. There's some guys that do the that can build just as well as I can.
and then there's a couple guys that are learning off the channel that uh, are doing really good too. Their building's getting better and better. <laughs> That's what somebody just asked some dude about. Oh boy, Josh, I have no idea. <clears throat> I have no clue. The closest I talk to, I mean. I haven't talked to him, boy Josh, in quite a bit, actually, probably since the end of Coil Wars, and, um, you know, I'm, I talk to, to Dwayne Rambo every day, and from what I know, I think he's just busy. Yeah, I think he's fine. I just think he's just busy. The, um... He has like, you know, his videos have a lot more production in them. Like, if you go and look at his latest videos, they're, you know, they're probably some of the cleanest videos out there. I mean, they're like, his the production on his videos is very well done. I mean, it's like, it's up there with like Grim Green, like, good production in his videos. So when he does a video, it's not like how I do a video, like, I could sit down and, you know, I just do it live, you know, ain't, like, the greatest lighting, I'm just sitting in a fucking room building, him, he's editing the video, he's gotta put the lights up, he's gotta do all this shit, so I'm sure that even if he's a little busy, that, um, it might be hard for him to get a video out, but I think he's alright. Hopefully he is. I'm pretty sure he is. Let's just say I haven't heard anything bad. And I think I might have. But, um, what time is it? So, I actually, I was supposed to work tomorrow, but I'm not working tomorrow. The Dead Rabbit video. What Dead Rabbit video? Josh is super cool. From own boy Josh, I didn't watch it. Maybe I should watch that. I know what build he put in there. That was pretty cool. Josh has always been, yeah, Josh has always been pretty cool. I remember when he started building, um, me and him used to talk, like, a little bit. Um, I started building a little bit before he did, and, uh, you know, we would ask other builders questions, so we would get caught in these chats, and he's always been a real nice guy, I know. <clears throat> I know the feeling's mutual, so he is a real cool dude. I always like Josh. <clears throat> I'm not a painter, I'm a carpenter, yeah, I'm a I'm a general contractor, so I do paint, but, um, basically carpentry. Do like any, any kind of carpentry, rough framing, finished work, cabinets, kitchens, bathrooms, a whole bunch of shit. Yeah, all day big. Thanks for stopping by. All right, guys, it's getting to midnight. I'm gonna get out of here myself. So, um, like I said, I'm not. Coil building's the only trade I know. Yeah, rough framing's fun. Rough framing is fun. I like front finished work too.
It's six fifty four in the morning. So um tomorrow I think I'm gonna have time to do something tomorrow. I'm actually editing a video now. So I'll put that up and maybe I'll uh, think of something. I definitely got to get everything together, get shit in envelopes. I would love to just have everything ready in envelopes and boxes and just drop them off on Monday so everybody can get their stuff. But just give me like a week. Give me a week to send it out, whoever won. It'll definitely be out in the mail within the week. I would love to go there Monday, but just knowing my work schedule, sometimes making the post office isn't the easiest to do right away. <laughs> I was a house painter for five fucking years. I thought I would never finish the fucking house. <laughs> yeah, if ever anybody's ever in Philly, let me know because it's fairly easy for me to get anywhere in Philly. I could tell you a good shop we could meet at, whatever. I hate doing outdoors paint, and I can't stand that. I can't stand oil base. I don't even do that. Um, I'm pretty close to the airport. I'm pretty close. Uh, I guess it's about 20-minute drive. Yeah, 20 minute drive from the airport. So I'm, um, I'm very close to Center City, Philadelphia. I'm very close to Center City. I'm like the second neighborhood away from Center City. And I work in the city. Yeah, that's what I'll do, too. I'm going to get all the coils together. Like, um, I have a whole bunch of coils here. And, uh, you know, the, the winners of the uh, the builds of the giveaway, I'm going to have them IG builds. So I'll get them all lined up, and maybe I'll come on live IG tomorrow and show you guys, you know, like, the coils that are going to be sent out. It's probably going to be a totally random thing. Um. Quite honestly, probably the smaller prizes are going to get the nicer coils, since they have smaller prizes. But, um, you know, the Dead Rabbit already has a nice build in it. Um, so, when I build some coils, I don't even vape them. I color them, I take them out, I put them here, or I put them in a little jar. And I have some single coils and I have some dual coils. So probably each prize will get a dual coil and a single coil. Yeah, there's a couple of them. Like the reason why I didn't vape them is because I didn't want to vape them. I just wanted to look at them. Like for instance, I have these sitting here. These are going to go in somebody's. And it's cool to have, like, um, let's say, you know, you could go on my IG and be like, oh, shit, that's them coils. I got them coils. So, for instance, here's a dual coil setup that I have. 
All right. And then I got like single coils like the cat track. And then there was a couple other coils I built. I remember actually building coils and being like, these could go in a giveaway. I have them aliens, them um them double stacked mohawks here. I have a couple sets of these. You know, somebody will get a single coil of that. I have a couple pairs of Mohawks here. I have a couple pairs of... Oh, somebody's going to get these. There, Two people are going to get these as single coils. So one person's going to get this one. And one person's going to get this one. And then I have, there's like a couple that, remember I built and I was like, you know, shit, I even have like, I have coils that I built in the tutorials. That might be even cool to have. Like I have, um, this coil from like the very first tutorial. I think that'd be cool for somebody to have. I mean, I wouldn't even vape that one. I'm even wondering if I want to get rid of it, but. I guess if somebody really wanted it, they could ask me for it. And then I got. <clears throat> I got them coils I made the one day. And I just wasn't really, I wasn't pleased personally with them, but everybody else liked them. And they'll vape great, they look cool, but they're just not, you know, they're not IG picture worthy. So, they're good to everybody else besides me. Not worth missing the show. <laughs> uh, no, it's like the um the it's hard to see with the shine. Let's see. It's like a it's a half frame stapled, half staggered. And one of the ribbons flipped over in it when I was making it, and I didn't I didn't realize it until I was done. I gotta throw them all in the ultrasonic, obviously. Let's see a hair there. And then I got, um, I got some noisy ass neighbors, that's for sure. Goon, Kennedy, and the Yeah, see, Goon's, uh, Goon's my favorite. Goon's my favorite. I really like the Twisted Message 24. I really like the uh, Seminal 24. Um, I wouldn't feel right putting the Dead Rabbit in just yet, even though I don't think it would be crazy. But when I see the RDAs that I would put in there, they're just all around like good building decks and good vape. Like, dot mod would have to be in there. Um, you 
Yeah, I don't even want to give anything else away. I, I know what my top five are. I just said four of them. Yeah, I'll probably like the conspiracy a lot, but um, there's a there's a couple RDAs I really like a lot. Derringer, Wasp, Hadley. Yeah, there's um. There's a lot that people forget of, but all the ones that I like are, are 24 besides the dot mod. The dot mod isn't 24, but the other ones I'm thinking of are 24. But two of them are available in 24 and 22. But every one that's in my list, I've bought more than one of. That's how much I like them. Yeah, the dot mod's pure flavor. If you're if you're daring enough to drill it out, you can get a really good vape out of it. It sucks that it's a hundred dollar RDA, but I actually have two, so I drilled out one of my caps. So I made the one hole a lot bigger, and it changed it changed it pretty dramatically. So I have a black one, and I have a red one, and I drilled out the red one. And Drew is not even on my list. It would be, Drew would be in my top, might be in my top ten, maybe. I think my fifth one would surprise people a lot. I think it really would. I don't even think it's even on anybody's mind. It's the Sub Zero. I like the Sub Zero um, a lot. I want to get the new one, but the Sub Zeros, um, they were like my favorite RDA for a long time. Um, both the 22 and the 24. I love the Sub Zero decks. I love how they vape. Um, it's a Kennedy killer, in my opinion, really. I love the Sub Zeros. And I don't even think that's number five on my list. I think it's probably um, oh, you got a Sub Zero X, yeah. I I I was actually gonna buy the whole setup this weekend. And I held off. I just went to my vape shop today, and they had these awesome looking spunk boxes. Oh my god, they were so nice. Yeah, I'm not big on bottom airflow neither, but I always like that sub zero. The Ram box. Oh my god. That thing's so nice. I 
I need to look it up and see how much I can get it for. Because I would pay I would pay the price that they were putting, but uh you got one? Oh man. That RAM box is such a nice clock. Oh my god, it, it like the the coating on it feels really good. I think that is it. I think that is it, Redneck Paper. I think it's the Steel Cape Squonk. 60 bucks? Get the fuck out of here. Is that, is it? Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the Ram box is the Steel Cape Squonk. Isn't it, Brad? I think they're one and the same. What's up, King? Yeah, I would imagine if the Rams are if they're sixty bucks, they're they're gonna sell out so quick. I was about to pay one hundred and twenty for one tonight. Steel vape, and that's like fifty seven. The RDA is a single coil. Um, yeah, I guess that's good for squonk. I, I don't know. Yeah, um... I seem to not be able to order anything that isn't from China. Every time I fucking order, it's coming from China. I think I'm ordering from places in the U.S. and it's still coming from China. Every fucking thing. The rubies are nice.
I'm not. It's not the. It's not the quality from China. I'm fine with that. It's how long it fucking takes. It's usually the same product that I would buy in the U.S. That there, I mean, everything's being built over in China. There's not a lot of companies that are still building over here, but it seems like I I go to websites that usually that usually would come from the U.S. Yeah, I got the dead rabbit broadside. Um, frame staples. These are actually the same frame staples that if you won in the giveaway, this is what you'll get. They're actually point one one, and that's how they fire. And I actually really like this juice. And it's not too dirty neither. It seems like a juice that would be really dirty, but it's not. Yeah, it's the only problem I have with ordering from China is it just takes too damn long. What's awesome though is like when I when you get shit from like um like when they send me like the um the dead rabbit and stuff like straight from Hell Vape, they do the DHL and it's here in like three days. I wish they did that with like everything. They like call you. If you're not home, you'd say, you know, what do you want us to do with this package? But all right, guys, I'm getting out of here. I'm going to get to bed. It was a long night. I don't even know how fucking long this video was. It's 12 o'clock. I started at 9. Only three hours, huh? Nah, it doesn't taste like syrup. It's it's really it's a fruity pebbles vape, like a fruity pebble strawberry vape. It tastes like fruity pebbles. Yeah, um, I'll do something tomorrow, something live, probably on Instagram. So keep an eye out. Um. I definitely got to get some pictures on Instagram. I haven't done something in such a while. So, um, yeah. Thanks, guys, for hanging out. And, um, yeah. Stay tuned. Have a good rest of the weekend. It feels like a Sunday to me, but I still got a whole other day. I had off on Friday. So it feels like a Sunday, but it's really just a Saturday night. All right.